Hi, my name is Sandy and I'm the flute teacher from Star Music Academy. Today I'd like to start with the basics on the flute. So I've got my flute here. If you open up the case, it comes in three parts. All right, we've got the head joint, the body and the foot. How to assemble the flute. First, grab your body joint and your head joint. Put the head joint onto the top. Now, if you close one eye, make sure that the whole of this mouthpiece is in alignment to the second key on your flute. So we'll just try that. Okay, once it's in alignment, we'll leave that. Grab your tail piece and put it onto the end of your flute. Make sure that these, this silver ball here, there are two silver balls and they should be in alignment to the middle key, to the middle of the key, right there. Like this, okay? So now that we've got our flute assembled, we're ready to play. To produce a sound, we always start off with the head joint first. Like this. Okay, the first thing to think about is to pull your lips back and produce a two sound. If you like, you can first try, try by putting a piece of um, raw rice into your mouth and spitting it. Now bring your flute up to your lips. making sure to cover one third of the whole of your mouthpiece. Another way to produce a sound is called the kiss and roll. So putting your mouth into that shape of playing the flute, covering the flute whole, and rolling a 90 degree angle up. Finally, the last way to produce a sound is to make a sad pouty face like this, then bring your flute up to your lips and push your bottom lip back. Let's try that. Always making sure your top lip is not over your bottom lip. They should be straight. All right, so once you have a good sound, we'll put your flute back together and we'll play. Okay, let's talk a bit about good posture when practicing your flute. First of all, stand facing your stand with your feet hip width apart, then turn a 45 degree angle to your right. The next step is to turn your neck facing the stand. Then bring the flute up to your lips. If you make sure to stand with correct posture, you won't be getting a sore, sore shoulders or a sore back because your body is in alignment. So one more time. The other thing to make sure not to do is to lift up your shoulders, okay? Or to rest your chin on your shoulders. They're bad habits to get rid of. Always imagine that there's an orange in between your neck and relax your shoulders, push them down. And that's it. Thanks for watching, I've been Sandy. Um, if you'd like to learn more, please come visit me at Star Music Academy. Thank you.